When going from a GSM GPRS network to a UMTS solution, the bottleneck of the network was addressed, namely the access network. To do that as an operator leads to a large investment. The closer you get to the end user, the more equipment is required. Radio spectrum is also a very expensive asset and cannot be reinvented, only more efficient utilized. In UMTS release 4, the core part of the network is in focus, the circuit switched area. The aim is to save money. It is the intelligent part in a switch that will set up an electrical circuit between end user A and end user B. That is the signaling. When the circuit is closed, the only intelligence required in the switches between user A and B is to remember that a voice sample coming in on one interface should be switched to an outgoing interface until the call is ended. The signaling phase of a call represents a fraction of time. It takes some seconds. This is handled by the control plane. The call handled by the user plane can continue for hours. In the release 4 solution, the intelligence is centralized and low-cost products will switch the voice samples. The node with the centralized intelligence is called an MSC server and the low-cost product is a router called Media Gateway. The routers in this part of the core network is not working as a router taking routing decisions based on information in the IP header. The Media Gateway is controlled by the MSC server. This part of the core is still circuit switched, but the voice samples are put into IP packets, voice over IP. This core solution is sometimes referred to as the split architecture. The IP packets passing over the packet switch part of the core network are still routed by SGSN and GGSN and carry datacom services. Release 4 is separating the costly control plane from the cheaper user plane in the circuit switched part of the core network.